Hi everyone, welcome back. We got another one. We're finishing off the downtown area. I am, I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared to kind of take on this, this build. I just, I was like, the downtown area looks so much different than this house. How am I supposed to make it fit? But we made it fit. We, we, I, my friend Gecko and I, we kind of sat here and chatted for the first little bit of me doing this renovation and um, decided that, you know, it's not uncommon to have museums be state houses. So I was like, all right, we're going to keep it a state house. Um, it does change. It grows a little bit. I, I think I actually make it a little bit wider and I do add an addition on. It just, it felt like it needed it. But, um, turned out so pretty and I'm not even gonna lie <laughs> like not to toot my own little horn here but my god I am so happy with the way this turned out um it just it is potentially the state house of my dreams you're gonna see me we I did this after the new update where we added in curved walls and I was desperate to use curved walls we wanted to add on like this little modern addition add some curved walls in the end we actually end up um making them normal walls mainly because the window situation um there was no windows that fit a tall wall height that looked good for the purposes that we needed there was none so we made them the regular walls so we can use any windows that we wanted in base game and it it still has the desired effect it just we want we were desperate to try to use the uh curved wall there but it wasn't in their cards but you're gonna see me try to figure out the layout here i we discussed and we're like what what does a museum have and we decided that um well, I decided that I wanted to have a gift shop and I wanted to have a cafe because those are very much found in museums, a hundred percent. Now, are they functional? No, but it does give you some a place to grab some snacks if they visit a lot. Um, there is a computer, so if they need to use that, they can. It just it just adds a little extra skill building when maybe uh, you can see me struggle with those <laughs> those windows right there. They did not want to sit on the curved feet, and it was just painful. Um, but, uh, yeah, it just, this is like a museum I would love to just work in. Um probably none of you really know but museum work is actually my background I got a degree in that um I was actually very lucky to work in a museum um not in a state house but a non-traditional museum I worked in the Roman Bath Museum in Bath in the UK and that is a very non-traditional setting museum because it's set in the roman bath so like this is like near and dear to my heart because obviously i loved especially within the uk going to these museums set in houses and it's just it's so easy to go to like a national trust locations that just are big old houses with lots of yard and just be in awe of everything there um 10 out of 10 do 100 percent recommend doing that but um you're gonna see there a lot of changes will happen like i'm putting these archers in the upper ones stay the lower one goes away and you can kind of see me here like trying to decide on floor plan and what i think is best we end up with 
three exhibits. One is a statue exhibit, one is gemstones, and one is artwork. Um, there's also a room that has a mishmash of um, everything. I had designated it to be a statue room, but I had two statue rooms already, and I'm just like, what am I going to do with this room? It becomes this um, special exhibit room, which is very plausible for any and every museum to have. And I, I kind of made the story that it was Princess Cornelia <laughs> and her family legacy in that room. Um, she, we have her jewels. We have a statue of her as a child and as a young adult. We have um, her family invented the ray gun. <laughs> like, I, that one might not be. I mean, that one's clearly not correct, but. It was really fun making up a story for a special exhibit. Um, you can see in the cafe here, I put in um, a microwave and a refrigerator because that's about as much cafe as this, the base game has. And, you know, <laughs> we, we kind of have to live with that. But uh, I'm sure if you had, like, the City Living uh, pack, you could definitely switch out that one counter for, like, the espresso counter instead of being a bar and work just just as well. Um, but this was, I know I've been saying it for all of them, but genuinely, this one was amazing to work on. Um. It was so different from the last couple builds, too, which I think made it better for me. And then you're going to see, um, basically, I mean, it's just me placing down statues. I tried to keep themes in each of the rooms, so, like, that little front room is kind of, like, handcrafted stuff. So a lot of the wood craft statues and things go in that room. I think I have mod like two modern art pieces in there too because there's really just like no place to put them. <laughs> um, and then the room next to it, I just kind of it's kind of a hodgepodge. There's really no no real theme, but um. It, it's just all it all worked out very well i i am curious to see what i'll end up doing for oasis springs museum but that's neither here nor there we still got houses to renovate um i think the the proudest thing from this build specifically is how well it looks and it's all base game like that, it blows my mind sometimes that I can make something look so good just using base game. Like you, you look at the outside of this house and you think, no. But with a little time and a little like research into how you want things to work, it looks so good and it's all base game. Um, you're not going to see any of the lot, uh, landscaping outside, mainly because I know it's going to take a long time. <laughs> so I just was like, I'm not, I'm not going to subject you to the horrors of me trying to landscape for hours. Um, but you'll see it in, we'll do the live overview. You'll see the landscape. There's going to be, uh, a gazebo out there with the um, easel there's a couple of little spots where you can sit there is going to be like a community garden area out there too I thought that would be really fitting for a big old mansion to have just like community garden area not only for the cafe to use stuff but for the town and that seems like something that would really happen in a house like this um and a lot of the landscaping I use is going to be debug. 
Now, the rest of the builds I've done so far really haven't had debug in it. But it just, there was so much to fill in. I felt like it was just kind of needed. So it is pretty heavy on debug. This, oh, pardon. It is pretty heavy on debug landscaping. And, um, I'm sorry, question mark. I'm not sorry. I think if I didn't use debug landscaping, I would have cried. So, um, you can see me scrolling through trying to figure out what I wanted. I want, I thought I wanted planner boxes there and then I realized I'm like, that's it, not the vibe. Uh, but here's a little gazebo. This basically stays the same. It's just going to get landscaping around it um and yeah it was really fun i think the next project i'm going to take on is probably the park to finish off all the community spaces um i'm terrified of the park it's such a big lot but i will figure out something um and try to make it mildly different from anything you've seen so far but you know <laughs> that is neither here nor there oh and you can kind of see me plotting out the little community area that stays the same it just gets landscaped around it does get different um terrain paint though so that will change but anyways we are coming to the end of the speed build part and i will see you in just a few moments for the live overview all right and here is the finished product you're gonna notice that a lot of the landscaping has gone off camera landscaping took me like two hours it was a lot um but i think it turned out really nice i will put it into daylight i this is like the estate of my dreams <laughs> Um, but we have this little community garden area where you'll be able to have your sims maybe plant some pots. Um, I didn't put anything in there. That way you can, depending on what season you place it down in, you can do your own. <laughs> However you want to do it. Um, and then we just have like a little kind of garden like area over here. That... <laughs> That shouldn't have anything on there. Why are you there? I was playtesting this and I think a sim started to uh, <laughs> paint. But yeah, it's just a little, little garden space. And then if we go, I really love how this turned out. This is like what this building should have been. But if we go on the inside, we'll just take a quick tour, a little overview. You walk in. If you head over this way, we have the statue area, which uh, let me just tell you, like finding enough statues to make a museum look good, but also not reuse them. So hard. <laughs> so, so very hard. But I think this worked out really great. And this is the little exhibit area, special exhibit area, which... I think turned out really well. It definitely fits the vibe. Um, little exit area. Here's those bathrooms. Uh, I can't rem remember if it was in the fidget or not, but this I put a shower in here. One, it's always good to have like one woohoo spot, right, at every location. But this bathroom was gonna end up being huge. And I just kind of wanted to fill in the space a little bit. So it got a shower. Um, if we head back this way, this is the quote unquote gift shop. All of this stuff your Sims cannot take. I have play tested it. So it should stay here. Um, unless obviously you have a Sim that's a kleptomaniac and they're able to steal stuff. But for the most part, they can't just come and like grab these debug books. It's not a thing. Um, but there is a computer there, so there is a little bit of extra skill building here. This is the cafe area. Obviously, it's not 
a functioning cafe. Like, this is a bar. And, um, you know, you can get, like, quick meals and snacks and stuff. And that's about as much of a cafe function as this has. You could potentially, if you had, um, what is it, city living, put, like, the coffee espresso machine up here. And that could be better. But it will never really function as a cafe. And that is two trash cans just sitting there. <laughs> I was supposed to move those. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think they went up on the gallery like that, so that's awkward. <laughs> Here, let's... I may end up re-uploading this lot then because that's just not the vibe. <laughs> I did not notice those are sitting there. Anyways, outside the little cafe a bit. Very nice. Uh, up upstairs, just two more exhibits. I discussed with my friend. I was like, I want to make this more like an exhibit, um, like a museum that has proper exhibits. So we went through and we found that like there's really only about three collective like three things that could feasibly be in a museum gems, paintings, and statues. There are like fish if it's like a wildlife museum, which could be an option. But um over here you got gems. Obviously, you can see that they're gems. Um, again, I play tested it. Your Sims can't take any of this. So this will stay here for them to come and look at. A couple more toilets upstairs. And then the art section. I did try my best to section them by uh, category. So like pop here. Like community art here on this wall. Jazz art. This is landscaping, and this is miscellaneous. I really just wanted a place to put, like, the classic clown painting and stuff. But, um, that kind of worked out like that. And that's it. That's the build. Um, it turned out really great. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, you can download it from the gallery. I'm going to re-upload it with the correct trash cans. <laughs> And, yeah, it's been amazing. I love this. Um, catch me on my Twitch three to four times a week. Twitch.tv slash Tubey. Um, I'll be posting probably some more TikToks soon. I got a couple little snippets to post up. And then um, I have a bunch of videos scheduled out for the next few weeks of Dead by Daylight and hopefully some more sims. So I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys later. Bye everybody.